hello, 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 everybody. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's Dad Bod Nate. I don't know. I was trying to do, um, I think I was trying to do, uh, hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. I can't do it. I'm gonna, if I do that, I'm going to throw up. If I keep making that voice. Uh, <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing today? What's up, Jay Pilama? Um, we got Bart, Becky, uh, Jennifer, Lude. We have a, uh, a special giveaway today, guys. We are giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini Portable Projector. An Anchor Astro Nebula. No, Anchor. Sorry. Pause. Pause. Anchor Nebula Astro Mini. Uh, we're giving away one of those today. So um, give me one second. I'm going to give you guys the link. I just want to make sure that I am on the correct link real quick. Dondi now. Chat, it is... um. If we run into any stream issues on this stream, it, that's because it's like insanely cold outside right now. You guys ready for this? Watch this. Hold on. Not now. Turn on Siri. That's fine. Not now. Okay. What's the temperature outside? Wait for this. <laughs> what? You guys, can we talk can we talk about how this is not okay? 5 degrees. 5 degrees outside. And there's like 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. So it feels like negative something outside, like negative 18. Something crazy like that. <laughs> it is so cold. Uh, but everybody welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gather around, children. Gather around. What's up, Nelson? How are you doing today? Buddy? Mm, buddy? Let's see real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, chat. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. What's up, Brenda? Welcome. How are you doing today? Keep gathering around, children. Keep gathering around. Um, so, again, we are giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini. It, it, I don't know what it feels, I don't know what it feels like outside. It's like negative 15 or negative 16 right now. It was worse like earlier too. Like way worse. Way, 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 way worse. We are going to have negative 7 tomorrow with wind chill. Yeah. Yeah. So we're giving away a Anchor Nebula. An Anchor Nebula Astro Mini portable projector today. If you guys want a chance to win, all you have to do is hit that follow button. Type in the chat, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Also, is everything going good on your guys' end? Do you guys see any like stuttering or lagging or anything? Because the internet is being a little bit wonky today. I just want to make sure we're good. Uh, so dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. After you've hit that follow button, you're going to come back to the stream. That is sly. That is sly. Well, trust me, we're getting to that. You're going to come back here and you're going to type in the chat, we heart, we, wait, hold on, that, that's upside down. We love Anchor. All right, cool. I appreciate it, Brenda. Thank you. So, uh, like I said, make sure you guys are getting, uh, her name is Betty. Are we joking? Are we joking here? I need to know if we're joking. Because are you telling me the wonderful woman that created Dragon Blogger Blake is watching me right now? What? <laughs> What's up, Betty? About face. Hot 
Hi, Blake's mom. Blake's mom, how are you doing today? Uh, so chat. We're giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini. Make sure you guys are getting signed up at the Enter Live site. If you guys want a chance to win, hit that follow button right down there. And if you uh, hit that follow button, go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Get signed up there. Come back here and type we love Anchor. You're entered just like that. Bada boom, bada bang. Everything's on deal today. Everything's on sale. So let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about the first product I want to talk about today. So this bad boy right here is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos 1080p. Do you think that seeing Sailor is an appropriate option today or a nice pick? Uh, let me, we'll check after this. We'll check after this, Blake. We will check after this. So this is an Android 10.0 full HD. Let me see the lumens on it because it's nuts. It's nuts. Okay. Android 9.0, 4K supported, 900 ANSI lumen, full HD 1080p portable projector. Now it's on deal today. It's 20% off from $700 down to $560. If we take a look at the back side here, you guys are going to notice that you are going to have an optical port. So this is going to be used if you want to plug this into a really nice surround sound system. You're going to have two USB ports right here. So you can plug in a mouse and a keyboard. You're going to have two HDMIs. One of them is an HDMI arc. So if you have a surround sound system or something else, that can be used with art. You have that. And then you have this bad boy right here, which plugs in the power. Now, this is HDR10. This is autofocus, auto keystone correction. Autofocus, auto keystone correction. With Android 9.0 built into it, there's going to be over 7,000 apps that you can download to watch your favorite shows. It's going to come with a remote that has voice controls, so you can actually control this with your voice through Google Assistant. Up to a 120-inch projection screen. 120 inches, which is crazy. Like, just... And speakers, Dolby speakers that wrap around the entire body of it, too. I mean, this is a legit, full-fledged home theater projector you guys can even see on the bottom here you have a tripod mount or like a quarter inch thread if you want to mount this to a tripod now if you just want to have it sitting on a flat surface it's got these anti-rubber pads or not anti-rubber but it's got these like anti-movement rubber pads so whenever it's sitting somewhere if you if you hit the desk or something this thing's not going to slide around it's not just going to slide around so if you guys want a full 1080p projector for your home Today's a great day to get this one from Anchor. And you guys know how we feel about Anchor. We love them. Will this projector make my car go faster? I don't know. Probably, yes. Probably, yes. Uh, welcome, Rising Sun. What? Hey, Dano. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we love Anchor. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Ty. All right, all right, Ty's. All right, guys, it's time to look at Sly, because if you guys were here on my Tuesday stream, <clears throat> sorry I didn't stream yesterday, I was supposed to, but um, I hurt my back, and I think it was from lifting that that um, Delta Max the wrong way. I, like, pulled a muscle, and yesterday was rough. Hurt so bad. How cold is it where you are? Um... Five degrees, but we have like 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. So like negative 15 wind chill or something. Crazy. It's it's nuts. It's nuts. Um, we have the Anchor Nebula capsule too. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and take a look at our creation from uh, from Sunday. I mean, not from Sunday, from Tuesday. So check this out, guys. Here's Sly. If you guys remember, we were printing a fox. And this is how it turned out. Well, how's it going, cool shoppa? Here is our fox that we printed. You are an expert now. What do you mean? An expert in what? 
an expert in what? You guys, there is Sly right there. In the flesh. We created him. So, um, we have to 3D print something on the stream today, so you guys come up with something. You guys come up with something that we're going to print on the stream today. You have to come up. It's, it's all on you guys. The power is in your hands, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and look at the next projector. A snowman. That's tempting that we can print a snowman. We can easily do that. That can be accomplished, Rising Sun. Black old sun. Murder brown. All right, hold on. Boom. Now this one's cool. Now this projector, this one's neat. What's up, Stargazer? Sheila B? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Sheila, we are giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini Portable Projector today. Can you separate colors? Rising Sun, we can. It just it just so happens that the filament, so the plastic that we're printing in, is a multicolor filament. So I can't, like, change the colors on this. I could change the filament to a solid color. You want what? Did you see this? Or are you talking about the Astro? I... If you guys want to be, if you guys want to be like fully honest and just say, hey, the Astro Mini is a better giveaway than um, Sly, then, uh, you know, it'll only hurt a little bit. <laughs> it, why am I, hey, chill out. Why, why am I so bright? Why am I so bright? So here is uh, Sly to all of you guys new that are joining. To anyone that is new that might be joining we 3D printed Sly on Tuesday. It finished like 30 minutes after the stream got done. So F's in the chat because we weren't there to see it. F in the chat because we weren't there to see it. But that's Sly. Look, he, I think it turned out pretty dang good. I think that turned out pretty dang good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next pro projector that we're going to talk about today. I am struggling to enter it for this live. I'm on my phone. So I hope I'm in. Also at work, Christmas lunch with some wine. So look out for crazy comments. Uh, hey, we're, we're here for it. You know, if anything, I want tipsy viewers. That That's going to make it that much more um, enjoyable. Where are our tipsy viewers at? Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag tipsy viewers in the chat. Hashtag tipsy viewers. So this is the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2. The Anchor Nebula Capsule 2. So check this out, guys. This is an Android OS portable projector. Now this is roughly the size of a Coke can, a little bit larger, so it's completely portable. It can run off of its own battery life. It can recharge your phone. It's got a Bluetooth speaker mode, so if you only want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker, you can do that. You can turn off the projector and actually just use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Now, this is going to have Android TV 9.0 built into it, so 7,000 plus apps. It is 720p, 200 ANSI lumens, and the battery life is 9,700 milliamps. 9,700 milliamps, so that's a long battery life. Now, on the inside of the box, you're going to be presented with a few different things. You're going to have this really nice little picture kind of showing you how you can use this. You can use it outside if you want to. In this little tiny box right here, you are going to have the charger as well as the warranty information. And then you're going to have the projector itself. So we'll go ahead and pull the projector out. Some other key features about the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 is this has built-in speakers. This has built-in autofocus. It's got a tripod mount down here at the bottom. That anti-movement rubber padding. So again, like I said, if you have this on your desk 
and the desk gets budged, it's not just going to tip over or slide off. So you guys can see right here, the I mean, I have small hands and it fits in my hand, definitely going to fit in your pocket. On the back side, you are going to have right here, you're going to have your auxiliary input or I mean your power input, HDMI, USB, and then your charging cable right here. Now operating this little projector is super simple. All you have to do is hold the power button on the back side of the projector. Now this one's actually dead because I just used it. It's a www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live, Sheila. So the, the standard, uh, hey, I, just, I think I just had it on chat. Oh, maybe it's not dead. Maybe I lied to you guys. Maybe I lied. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's not even, it's not even dead. Why would I assume that it was with that insane battery life? Let's see if we can set this up. Let's see if we can set this up. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. You know that one? You know that one, yep. Let's turn off the light real quick. Let's move this bad boy. Boom. All right, chat, so check this out. Auto focus, auto keystone correction. You guys can see that I put the projector up on my projector screen. I knew we had that for a reason. I knew we had that for a reason. So it's automatically focused to the screen. If I go ahead and bring it a little bit closer, what it's gonna do if I hold it still is it's actually going to re-auto focus itself. Uh, now it's not really gonna do that good of a job because I'm holding it, but it's trying. Oh, it's trying and you guys can see up to 120 inches is what you're able to get. So the further you get this thing away, the larger the screen is gonna be. Now, it might not seem like it's very bright in here right now, but all of those lights coming in, those lights down there, I have the overhead lights on, and as you guys can see, you could still see that. You could still see everything going on. And if you also, if you didn't notice, nothing's plugged in. It's not plugged in, it's running from its battery life. So the legitimate most awesome thing about this is the fact that I have this portable projector in my hand, I'm using it. I can literally just put this in my pocket like this and have a portable projector. So this is great for parties. This is great for get togethers, being outdoors. I wouldn't know about right now because it's like five degrees with 20 mile per hour wind. So I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going outside with this. I'm not, that's not happening. No way, no how. Uh, what's up, Robin? Welcome to the stream. Robin, Robin, Robin. So if you guys want a portable projector this Christmas, then check this one out. This is the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2. Great picture quality, fantastic battery life. I think you guys would be really happy with this one. And it's on deal. Normally 580 bucks down to $400. So you guys are saving 180 bucks today on this bad boy right here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody, welcome in. Do not forget that today we are giving away an Anchor, Anchor Nebula Astro Mini portable projector. So this projector that we're giving away today is a uh, great projector uh, for like kids. Um, it's not like one of their most high end. It's actually one of their cheapest projectors, but they told us, hey, you guys want to give one away? And we're like, yeah, I mean, of course. People would love that. What's up, David? What's up, David? Um, so let's go ahead and move on, guys. So if you guys do want a chance to win, though, don't forget, you have to hit that follow button. Hit the follow button. You're going to go to w, w, oh, that's Q, 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 w, 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 dot, dot com forward slash enter live. Just like that. www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Come back here and type in the chat. We love Anchor once you've got signed up. So I know you're good. So I know you are good to go. Now we have a ton of awesome, 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 awesome products today that we're going to be taking a look at. Um, the next product we have is actually the Sil Silensis E7 Active Noise Canceling Headphones. So late, or not late, but last minute Christmas gifts, guys. Last minute Christmas gifts. This is going to be something that's great for that. So I'm not sure who did this one. I'm going to go ahead and jump and make an assumption that James, 
Oh, who's that handsome devil? That James did this video. Let's see. Who's it going to be? Dun, dun, dun. So check these out, guys, and I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. James here with a quick unboxing showcase of a new product, guys. This is from Slinsys. This is their active noise-canceling headphones. These are their E7s. This has a 30-hour battery life usage time, guys. So this does come in like eight different colors. We got the black version, I believe, here. So we're going to kind of show you guys this really kind of cool. 45-millimeter um, drivers, guys, with the noise-canceling. All that good jazz. So should be really decent as long as we can get it open. They do have this big sticker back here. Which is kind of weird that I had to pull it off. But we're not too worried about that, right? We're going to pull that sticker off and hopefully get the box open. So we can show you guys what's inside. And actually, we do not have the black version, so I was completely wrong there. I'm going to chuck that aside. And I'm going to pull that down. We're going to rid of the lid. So first things first, user manual if you guys need it. It is Bluetooth, so you guys, just so you know, they do have this. Also tells you what the buttons do on both sides of the things. Medium, playback, volumes, call functions, and all that good stuff. Does have a microphone. Comes with USB to micro USB this charging cable, which is very cool that they give you this. Plus, it comes with a 3.5 millimeter special. headphone jack. This 3.5 millimeter headphone jack will. Everybody, welcome into the stream. If you're just now tuning in and you're brand new here, be sure to hit that follow button. You guys are the real MVPs for being here. Uh, is it too soon to say that I love you? I don't know. You let me know. You you let me know. I'm guessing they did a stand-up job in the restroom. Why wow, was that a yeah? I'm 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 fast. I'm fast like lightning, chat. Wash my hands and everything too. <laughs> all I'll say, all I'll say is I'm not the one. I'm not the one, sweetheart. Okay. I'm not the one. All right, James. Let's see what you think about these headphones. Looked over. Sounds really decent. So I'm going to set the phone down for a second. Now, I just put it on active and it actually is blocking out a lot of the background, which is really, really cool. It sounds really good, really decent. I have it on kind of, you know, rap music, as you guys kind of heard. I uh, might have to clip a little of that out. Unfortunately, did not expect that to come through the, the phone for a second as I switched over to noise canceling. And that's because it dropped off Bluetooth and went back on. Not a big deal. That's an issue with my phone. It sometimes drops headsets. You know what it is. I test on other stuff and it will always work. It's Dragon Blogger Margaret. Welcome in to the stream. Listen, everybody, if you're brand new here, I have a request of you. Yes, you you make sure you guys are hitting that follow button because today on the stream at the end of the stream guess what we're doing guess what we're doing at the end of the stream we're giving away an anchor nebula astro mini so if you want a chance to win there's only one thing you got to do there's only one thing you got to do if you want a chance to win hit the follow button down below so if you're on your computer it's right around that location somewhere right there then what you're going to do is you're going to go to www dot dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live most of you guys know how to do this pretty straightforward uh darren what's up my friend welcome 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 darren how's it going how's the weather uh where you're at it is uh five degrees well i just looked and it's four degrees outside now four degrees outside and it's got like 20 we've got like 20 mile per hour winds with up to 30 even last night this morning 40 mile per hour gusts so we have a wind chill of like negative 15 negative 20 somewhere around there and it is oh so cold oh so cold what's up angelica hello carla 
Uh, listen, guys, today we are giving away an Anchor Portable Projector. Great for kids. Last minute Christmas gifts. If you guys want a chance to win, make sure you guys are hitting that follow button right down there below and going to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. I'm going to go ahead and share the link one more time. Uh, so you got to go there, get signed up. Once you've gone to that website after you've uh, um, signed up, all you have to do is uh, come back here and type, we love Anchor. Big shout out to Anchor. Let me get an F in the chat for Anchor. Uh, Darren, I'm new to today's stream. I know you're not new, Ed. You're a real OG. You are sending us your weather. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's not morning anywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, it's morning over on the West Coast. It, it do be morning over on the West Coast right now. What do they say? The West Coast is the best coast? Yeah, it is. Let, well, let's let's be real here. Let's be real here. It is. Um, but yeah, right now we're taking a look at these Silences E7 Active Noise Canceling Headphones. So, like I said, though, if you guys are new here and you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. So, this is Dragon Blogger James looking at you right now. Who is that guy? I've never seen him before. That's Dragon Blogger James, ladies and gentlemen. That's who that is. That's who that is, if in case you were wondering. He's talking about these headphones. Work better. But just first uh, thoughts and feelings, it actually feels really great on the head. Oh, hold on. I got to do the ritual. Carlos V. Nunez Rodriguez. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope all of you, not just you, all of you. Hey, I said it. Merry Christmas. Oh, we're getting in trouble. I don't have, I do not hate this. It feels great on my head. Now, it actually feels actually really, really good, even with the hat, my hat on. Now I'm gonna take my hat off, fill the hat down, and it fits good. I mean, just adjust a little, but I have no problems with this. It fits over my ears well. It actually is not hitting my earring which is also a plus. This is actually a very decent headset. Again, guys, this is the E7. has a 30-hour bat battery life or usage time. And it's, they claim that you can use the full 30 hours of listening to music nonstop, which is actually very cool. Now, if you're watching movies or all that good stuff or chatting with your friends, it'll do all of that. The noise canceling man is blocked out. I cannot hear anything anywhere around me. And that's probably why I'm talking really high. Now that I take it off, I'm going to actually bring my voice down lower because that is making me back to normal. Now, I love that you can swivel this. The color is just amazing. It pops. <coughs> the band is very nice. Everything about this feels great. It doesn't feel like a really cheap headset. Uh, it works well, guys. So, uh, again, these are the E7s. Uh, thank you for checking out this video, guys, and have a great one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we freeze, chat? Are we back? Are we back? Come on. Come on. Baby, come back. You're gonna blame it all on me. Uh, yeah, chat. This stream is kind of prone. I'm gonna be real with you. This stream is kind of prone to some major delays. Now, the reason I say we're kind of prone to some major delays is because... It is five degrees outside with 25 mile per hour winds. So we're going to find out. But if you guys need some new active noise canceling headphones, definitely check those out. Um, if you guys seem like you guys are probably behind on the chat right now. Uh, so you guys are probably seeing what I'm saying later than you were before because it froze. Just refresh it. If you're in the app, close the app out entirely. Go back in it. If you're on computer, just refresh the window and you should be good. And you should be good. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just kind of at the mercy of gross weather. That's basically it. Uh, what's up, Phil? Welcome. What do we got right here? What is your new, uh, what is your new <laughs> geek inside? <laughs> Intel inside. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, but listen, chat, everyone that was here on our Tuesday stream saw us start the 3D print of Sly. So here he is. He is all finished, and he is multicolored. Ooh, multi 
colored. Ooh. Wow. So I think we're going to print a uh, I think we're going to print a 3D snowman today. That's probably what we'll end up printing. Uh, love that filament. Same here. Same here. It came out it came out great. The iridescent filament. What kind of uh what kind of connection do you have? Um, oh, sorry, I know what you mean. Cable. Cable. I have cable internet. Slide turned out great. Darren, check it out. Slide turned out great. He looks awesome. Ooh, Slide is cool. Look, look at that fox. So now we've got a buddy for, uh, what do we name him? Fido? <gasps> Fido, I'm sorry. Now we've got a buddy for Fido, as you can see right there. So Fido's the dragon, and he is the fox. You guys never thought you would see that. You never thought you would see the day where a fox and a dragon became friends. But as you guys can see right here, they're the bestest of friends. They're the bestest. Not the fox and the hound, the fox and the dragon. How's Astro doing? Laundry dishes? Uh, he's doing good. He, um, I put a baby gate up, and he couldn't figure it out, so he just sat there and then drained his battery life. And then when I, yeah, that's what happened. So I took the baby gate back down. said, I need room for Astro. Anything is possible in this stream. It, this is true. This is true. Um, so for all of you guys that are new and joining... Make sure you guys are hitting that follow button because if you want a chance to win an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini portable projector, we're giving away one at the end of the stream today. So you need to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. WW, yep. David said, then the temp should not be the problem exclude wind too we've I, weather has almost always affected my internet almost always but also i live in a very small town our internet is just kind of shoddy anyways but it is what it is it is what it is so i think this is what we're going to print next chat let me see real quick i think we're going to print this guy right here so this is actually an ornament this is an ornament so you guys can see that whoever designed this Designed it in a way where we have a little hook right there so we can um, ultimately hang this from our tree. How small is small in your town? Brenda, you really want to know? You really want to know? 5,000 people. 5,000 people. I've had issues with the coax being saturated into the, into the drop causing issues. Yeah. I actually used to work with cable a lot. Now, um, yeah, cable internet, cable internet itself, coaxial, isn't necessarily affected by weather. But since it's running over main power lines, if main power lines are being frozen over, then that's when you get that's when you start to run into issues. Sailor may like these toys as she gets bigger. No removable parts. Hey, this is true, Rising Sun. This is true. Print a... What, what am I looking at? Santa? 211 population. Nearest actual town is about 3,500. Okay, Brenda. I see you. I see you. Okay. 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 How many people did you graduate with, though? Because my wife's got you beat, probably. She graduated with eight people. Or nine other people. What about you? Huh? Hmm? Huh? So guys, we're going to go ahead and move on with the stream. We're going to take a look at the Anchor Soundcore Boost Bluetooth speaker. Uh, great deal today. $60 down to $48. Uh, again, if you guys want a chance to win a portable projector today, drop a follow. Make sure you guys are going to our website, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Once you get signed up there, come back here in the chat and all you got to do is type we love anchor and uh, that will give you the entry at the end of the stream. Uh, we will do our um, giveaway. So the Anchor Soundcore Boost is a portable, uh, it's obviously a portable Bluetooth speaker that I think you guys would really enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and let Dragon Blogger James tell you guys about this. This is a 20 watt Bluetooth speaker, so tons of power for great sound. 
Now we're not gonna watch this whole video. What we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna go ahead and jump right to where he is playing the music. So in order for me to tell where he's playing the music, I gotta put my trusty dusty headphones on. Cell phone hotspots sometimes work when power is out. Uh, I was worried our power was gonna go out because that's something we've ran into issues with before in these types of uh, storms, like these winter blackouts. Um, so I charged up, <clears throat> I got all of my EcoFlow products charged up just, just in case we go out with power because I got a baby in the house. Last thing I need is, need is a freezing, below freezing internal house. I don't want that. Not with the baby. Was waiting for the product placement. Were you? Yeah, you see that plug? You see that plug there? I'm Okay, that was a good one, Jay. You got to give it to me. Let me. I need an F in the chat because the way I... The way I did that was legit -neth. James here, and today we're taking a quick... Superior sound, they say. Superior sound, they say. Check this out. Where is he playing music? I need to find the music. One more update. Now we're going to play this, right? Excuse me, Nate? Question mark, question mark. Excuse me, Lori B, not A or a C. Welcome, welcome. What's up? Uh, Why are you saying excuse me? What do you get when you come in with the dad jokes? What do you get when an apple and a Christmas tree have a baby? Um, dang it, I don't know. What? We actually have this in play. We're going to turn the volume up as we go. All right, chat. You guys can see the answer to that dad joke there. So with that being said, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, <laughs> see you later. I got to I got to end it on that dad joke. Psych. That's the wrong number. You thought you were getting rid of me that easily? Nope. Nope. So, we're about a quarter of the way. We have bass boost up. I'm I can feel the bass down, in my right? headphones. I can Put feel them. On. We have minus over here. You need minus volume or plus. Okay. Oh, I'm about to twerk. I can already feel it. I I already know I'm twerking on this stream. I'm twerking on this stream. I got the vibes of I got the twerk vibes. The vibes of the twerketh. Feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win in life. I never miss that spot, taking days, I'm in the back, don't be in the wind, you'll go out in the back. Easily. Whoa, whoa, party foul. <clears throat> okay. Golly. Whoa, whoa, party foul. That one was better. He stopped the music while I was vibing. I was about to break my neck. You guys saw what was happening. Sounds great. It does have nice sound. It sounded good through my headphones. My heart's a stereo. No, that's not the song I was going to sing. What was that song by, um, what's that band? The Cupid, Cupid Chokehold. Do you guys remember that song? Something about headphones. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Island Girl, just trying to make it. Welcome, Island Girl. How are you doing today? I hope you're in... In an island. I hope you're on an island somewhere away from the, the temperatures that I'm experiencing. So that, like, look at this. What's the temperature outside? That's not Celsius, chat. That is uh, Fahrenheit. What are the winds outside? About 23 mile per hour right now. So let's just say that I'm not having a great time, okay? It's freezing. Hey, brr. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, ooh. Luckily, I got so many products on hand to keep me warm through the winter and keep me powered through the winter in case the power goes out. We had a little bit of a scare earlier. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a hundo. Keep it 100. We had a little bit of a scare. I saw the, I saw the stream was freezing, and I said, hey, don't do that, or I will punch you right in your computer face. And then it was like, dude, all right, man, I get it, chill. Jeez. 
Uh, so for all of you guys that were, oh, whoa, 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 Nate, chill out. Why, why are we hitting the microphone? It's not even that late in the stream. For all of you guys that were interested, um, and to those of you guys that don't care, but I, you're still going to see it anyways, we did finish up. Okay, I can't see. My hat's in the way. There we go. We did finish up um, Sly with our 3D printer. Wow, what did I walk into? I don't know. I don't know. How sore were your abs yesterday after that brutal workout? Hey, that was that was rough. But they weren't sore. They weren't sore. But I'm also like Superman or something. Like that. I don't know. So here's Sly, guys. By the way, this is what we 3D printed on the stream on um, Tuesday. And it, it finished about 30 minutes after we got done with the stream. It finished about 30 minutes after we got done. Let me make sure he's nice and autofocused for you guys. Or let me make sure it's focused. That's not focused. There we go. Nice and focused. Uh, so multicolored, multicolored. You guys can see it did turn out beautiful. Look at Sly and Fido. We got Sly and Fido, the unexpected friends, but they're hanging out. They're chilling. They're big chilling like a villain. Uh, but no, you guys can see that the Anchor and Nebula Soundcore boost sound, or not Anchor. Uh, see, I'm um, see, see, think. Okay, all right. I'm blaming Quacker Jack for that stutter you guys can see that that anchor sound core boost sounds great 20 watts of power uh long battery life it's gonna sound great anchor doesn't miss you guys know how i feel about anchor because i have one of my favorite my, my favorite bluetooth speaker is by anchor so definitely pick that up but now it's time to talk about robots whoa thanks pal <laughs> gee whiz you're welcome uh we're gonna talk about the anchor robovac g30 now, some of you guys might have seen this video before, but fair warning, this is rated M for mature because this robot vac in this video gets attacked. Now, it's only 180 bucks today down from three, eh, down from almost 320 bucks. Uh, Dragon Blogger, what's up, man? What's up, man? We had a scare earlier. We had a scare earlier. The, the stream froze and I was like, hey, chill out. Chill out. Don't do that. And then it chilled out and it didn't do that. So, all right, guys, I just want to let you guys know there is some dog on robot violence in this video. Dog on robot violence. Here it goes. Is that the robot vacuum? What is that? No, don't attack it. Don't attack it. Oh, no. No, it's okay. Don't attack it. Don't attack it. No, pumpkin! Ah! Oh, the horrors. The horrors. Don't attack it. It's just cleaning. It's just cleaning. It's just cleaning. Nate, what would the reg temp in your area be a year ago? So, like, what what's, like, average? Because this is, like, not average temperatures. I'm going to say, like, maybe 30 around 30 35 probably like at this time in the day 30 degrees probably richard powell welcome to the stream astro would not stand a chance no he wouldn't that's why that's why uh justin didn't get it sent to him he was the one that like was on the waiting list he'll tell you he was on the waiting list for amazon astro i wasn't he just realized over the past year that he's been on the waiting list that every time he's received a robot vacuum they haven't stood a chance so he was like, I can't this I can't spend this much money on something just to have it get destroyed when it gets here. So he asked me if I wanted to do it. I didn't even know it existed. And I was like, OK, yes, must protect Astro. Astro is defenseless. He's a kind soul. It's just cleaning. You're not going to do its job. No, don't tell me. No, no. OK. You know, what's the most interesting about this is the job. fact that. This robot vacuum is getting obliterated right now, and it's just still churning along. And it's it borderline still staying on track. It's trying to kind of correct itself to figure out what just happened to me. All I know is I got to keep going. And we'll rise up, rise like the day. Yeah. You have to protect your robot vacuums from he, from they, who they call, from who. Okay, hold on. From he who shall not be named. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. 
Uh, but you guys can see right there, great robot vacuum, high quality. You're going to have app control with it. Uh, 180 bucks. So if you guys want a chance to um, pick up a great robot vacuum at a good price, today's a good day for that because this is a deal stream. Everything's on sale. Uh, but if you guys are new here, first of all, welcome to the stream. My name is Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat right now. Um, we have a ton of great Christmas gift ideas. Last minute, I mean last minute. It's it's the 22nd. You guys got three days. You guys got three days. So it depends on where you live. But you, you're running out of time. You are running out of time for Christmas gifts. All I'm saying, that's all I'm going to say. Don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. But make sure you guys are hitting that follow button and going to www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. And the reason I say that is you need to get signed up there because at the end of the stream today, we are giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini portable projector. Full disclosure, I haven't tested it, but another full disclosure. Well, I guess if I said full disclosure the first time, and then said it again. Oh, half disclosure. I haven't tested it. The other half of the disclosure. It's Anchor. That's all I, that's all I gotta say. Uh, Seabass said, Dad joke, what would you do if you're attacked by a group of clowns? Go straight... So the joke at hand right now is, what would you do... If you were attacked by a group of clowns, grow, go straight for the juggler. On that note, uh, once again, I will see you guys later. Um, have a great stream. Uh, you guys just sit here and watch this because you guys are getting put in timeout for the action of one. This is on you, Seabass. See you guys later. Psych! Oh, wrong camera. Wrong camera. <laughs> You guys, every single thing that we have in the stream today is on sale. Every single thing that you have, you can see that I'm going to talk about is on sale. Uh, but don't forget, we are giving away that projector. So Renee just started following. Thanks, Renee. Love you. Say it back. So we're going to go ahead and move on and take a look at the Anchor 321 20-watt power strip. So this is like a really good power strip. Um, that can charge or keep devices powered and also charge a few of your mobile devices. Um, really good for traveling too. This time is the good time. What are we talking about here, David? What are we talking about here, David? Would you guys still watch me if I had like a super, super, super thick like southern accent? Like molasses. The next product we're going to look at is going to be the Anchor 321 20 watt power strip. And it's a real hoot. It's a real hoot. Would you guys still watch? Be real with me. If this is what I sounded like all the time, are you going to continue to watch me? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel. So, one cool thing about this power strip. You're like, oh, cool. Okay, I know. I've heard of extension cords. First of all, this is really great for traveling because it, it kind of wraps up in this tiny little ball-like thing. But the thing about this is, so right now it's on sale today for, let me see, 17 bucks. This can actually, this has a $20,000 lifetime connected equipment warranty. So what that means is say you have stuff plugged into this, right? Say you still have, say you have everything plugged into this. If like you have a power outage or a power surge and this doesn't do its job as a surge protector and you have up to $20,000 of stuff connected to this, they're going to warranty that. So for $17, you guys can protect up to $20,000 of connected equipment. So right here on the front, you're going to have your IQ charging. So you have two USB 3.0 ports and a USB-C port. So three ways to charge mobile devices right there. And then wrapping around the entire body, you are going to have three standard grounded AC outlets. Um, so Anchor does not miss. You guys know this. You guys know it's a figgity fact. It's a figgity fact. 
So if you guys need a new uh, travel-friendly power strip, definitely pick this one up. Now, moving on, I did say we will get something 3D printing on the stream. I think you guys, somebody in the chat, I only got one answer. Maybe you guys are like, I don't want a 3D print. Hey, I don't like your face. I get it. I, I, I understand. I fully get it. Uh, we're going to print a... Th we're going to print a snowman today. And it's going to be a snowman ornament. Yep. It's going to have an, a little hook on it so you can hang it from a tree. We're going to print it in the same color that we printed Sly. And we printed Fido, which is a multicolor filament. As you guys can see right there, it's changing. So while we're taking a look at the next video, uh, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at the Robovac X8. So this is a LiDAR navigation um, incredible Bluetooth speaker, or not Bluetooth speaker, Robovac. So this is going to have LiDAR navigation, like I said, so it's going to map out your entire home and give you guys the option to be able to control this with Alexa or Google Assistant. Uh, so this one's really nice. This one's really nice and a great sale today down from $4.99 to $260. Bucks. So nearly 50% off on this um, RoboVac today. So one feature I like about the Eufy X8 Twin Turbine RoboVac is the fact that when you go to plug it in the charger in the charging base, you can actually wind the cord inside the charging base so that way you don't have a lot of cord hanging. One cool thing about Anchor, they do that with like all of their... Um, they do that with all of their charging docks you can wind the cord into the charging base so you don't just have a bunch of cable hanging out everywhere which stands out among other robovacs is the fact that it has the twin 2000 pa suction which this means is while it was going over the carpeting almost like a normal vacuum you could see it actually leaving the carpet disturbed behind it and you could tell it had enough suction to actually Move the carpet with its little bristles on the carpet it was able to move and displace surface dust and surface fur and material so that it was able to suck it up i really put this robovac through its challenges by adding a lot of obstacles to this room this is my product review room so i added a floor fan i had a chair in there i have my yasuda stationary back in there i even added a step ladder open because i wanted to challenge this robovac to see how well it could navigate around all these obstacles so i wasn't using it for room mapping for the purpose of this testing I was very impressed at how well it was able to navigate in and out of this stepladder legs. You could see how quickly it found its way around through the legs. It even went around cords, didn't have an issue with cords because I was worried because most households have cords. How's your RoboVac going to handle cords? But you could see it traces itself back through the stepladder legs and had virtually no trouble at all working around and working through the stepladder legs. Even left a piece of plastic on the ground. I basically simulated you know, normal household objects that may get lying around, that may get left behind by somebody who necessarily doesn't want to clean just so their robot vac can clean. And this obviously did a really, really good job around it. Especially with my Suda bike, where it has these little grooves in these front wheels, which have a little gap between the front wheels. It was able, even able to detect and fit in between those and, in, and get inside that area too as well. So overall, the cleaning power is really well on this, and I found the vacuum did a surprisingly good job working around so on top, so on top of all of the awesome stuff that that does and like the LiDAR navigation mapping out every individual room, it also makes sure that it hugs all of the corners as best as possible so you guys are getting the most surface area possible too. So if you guys need a new robot vacuum, definitely check that one out. Uh, let me see. Nate, I was wondering, are any issues, concerns with vibrations from you working on the same desk messing up your 3D print? I wasn't sure how sensitive those printers are to that. Um, so... I think the only time I'm ever going to run into, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> okay, chill out. What's going on here? The only time I'm ever going to run into, like, an issue with it messing it up is if I really, really jar it. Um, but, like, small motions and stuff like this, it's not going to affect it. And what's really funny about that question that you ask is there's actually been people out there that what they've done is, like, had some type of outlet or, like, some portable power with them. And they've, <clears throat> uh-oh, uh-oh, they put power to a backpack and had a 3D printer mounted on their back while walking around 3D printing stuff. Um, so, but again, like I said, whenever we level this bed, yeah, yeah, I'm all right, I got it. Whenever we level this bed, we're not actually leveling the bed, we're what we're doing is putting the nozzle to a certain distance from the bed at multiple directions. 
So once it's leveled, it saved that mesh layout, Ed. It saved that and it uses it to know how far it needs to be from the bed at all areas. Because while this might not be flat, if you get down to like a microscopic level, it's not level always. I mean, it, it actually looks like this. So it saves a mesh layout of this bed. So if it's printing up here and it's too close, it'll go up a little bit like microscopically. You can't, you almost can't see it. If it's back here, it'll go down a little bit. It just depends. Uh, but yeah, they've had backpack printers uh, plugged into some type of power station, hooked on their hip, walking around with it, and it's still printed just fine. So it's, it's really neat. Um, let me see real quick. I lost my internet connection and I thought it was you. You thought it was me? Yes. Yes. Uh, but now I have the next product that we're going to talk about, which is the Eufy Robovac X8 Hybrid. So this is basically the same exact Robovac that we just looked at, but this one can also mop your floors. This one has a mop head attachment on it for only $20 more, for only 20 bucks more, which is a great deal. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the X8 Hybrid video, let you guys take a look at this. And do not forget to hit that follow button and ask how you guys can possibly win a portable projector today. Because we are giving away the Anchor Nebula Astro Mini today. Are you printing anything else on the printer? We are about to start a snowman. Yep. We're about to start a snowman. Hey, what is going on guys with these lifting mechanisms? And that's basically going to help this robot vac go between carpet and and hardwood without any issues right there so everything is very well made on that but let's go ahead and show you guys how to get this thing up and running so we can get your home clean in no time so the first thing you want to do to get the setup is download the eufy home app once that's launched go ahead and type in add device and you're going to select robot vacuums continuing on you're obviously going to select x8 hybrid and now you will see that it will pop up because we did turn on the vacuum it automatically enables bluetooth if it's not already paired and then you are going to type in your Wi-Fi network name and password. And then once you have that paired to Wi-Fi, you guys will see right here that it gives you a little bit of instruction on how to place the charging base. Just telling you a notice to basically pick up before this thing goes out in vacuums. And then it also gives you some information on how this thing will create a map. Now you are inside of the app and you guys can see right here we have a ton of features. Up there at the top you have battery life, total cleaning time. The cleaning type, you have suction strength, which is pure power, turbo max, and boost IQ. The boost IQ works really well by basically reading what type of surface it's on and adjusting the suction strength accordingly. And then the next thing that you're going to have is up here in the top right is you have the settings wheel. And you have a ton of stuff in here such as manage map, tap and go, cleaning history. You have voice, like I said earlier right here we have this installed on the base but don't do what i did here make sure you have three feet of clearance on either side so forward left and right otherwise whenever this thing does try to go and clean all it's ultimately going to end up doing is turning around and running back into its base so this right here is just a little time lapse you guys can see this thing does a really good job of following the wall and honestly hugs the corners really well one of the really incredible things about this is you guys are going to see how tight it holds around this little desk that I had set up. I purposely set it like this to see if it would be able to navigate itself into this little cranny right here and then also navigate itself out and it did a really good job in doing that. And then regardless if you told it to go back to its home or it does it itself after the battery is dead, this thing goes right back. The Eufy X8 does a phenomenal job vacuuming your carpets and mopping your floors. So if you guys have been looking for a very easy to use robot vacuum, I highly recommend this one from Eufy. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right. And there you guys have it. So if you guys need a new robot vac, I highly recommend that one. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do um, is let you guys know about our giveaway today. We are giving away an Anchor Nebula Astro Mini portable projector so you only need to do three things i'm going to go ahead and share so you're going to make sure you guys are hitting that follow button you must be following then you're going to go to www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get signed up and then what you need to do is make sure you guys come back in the chat and type we love anchor we love anchor and that's all you have to do uh, Matthew Adams, welcome to the stream. Everybody in the chat, welcome, Matthew. I need to, this, you guys are going to call me psychotic, but it's way too hot in the house, so guess what's happening? I got to let the cool air in.
It's got to be this way. Hate that it had to be this way, but it's got to be this way. So we do. We are going to go ahead and uh, start our next 3D print, but for now we're going to let this auto level. Um, and we're going to move on to the next product in the carousel, and which is the DeWalt 20 volt max cordless drill. All right, guys, so check this out. You guys know what drills are. I know you guys know, okay? He's like, well, I've seen drills before. This one's great, though. This one's great for multiple reasons. So you guys know who DeWalt is. You guys have been around. You guys know we love DeWalt around here. So this drill right here, I have been using it for a year with zero issues. This is going to be a great drill, drill because it's going to come in this really nice bundle where you're going to get the drill. You're going to get one battery. You are going to get two batteries. You're going to get a charger for those batteries. And then you're also going to get your uh, a nice little carrying case for it too. Now, so this is a 20 volt drill. It's not the highest. You know, normally you're going to see like 24 volts. But this drill is powerful enough to make sure that you guys can get just day-to-day -day household stuff done, but it also has enough power and enough battery strength to give you uh, the power that you need while you are doing, um, you know, more demanding jobs. More demanding jobs. Um, so DeWalt makes great products. You guys can see that we have uh, just that classic DeWalt color scheme. It's got a soft touch material here. I've beat this thing up over the past year and it has just kept chumming along. It's got a stainless steel chuck on it too. It's got a stainless steel chuck, so it's not going to um, it's not going to rust on you. Um, the batteries last a long time. What I really like about these batteries is they're not using like the big old thick boys. Uh, very easy to take off and put back on with these drills. Um, yeah, so definitely check this out. Great deal because normally this set with two batteries, the charger and the carrying case, is going to run you 170. But today you guys can actually pick this up for a hundred bucks. So great Christmas gift. Uh, check the product page, see if you can get it for before Christmas as a last minute Christmas gift. Uh, but yeah, tons of power. It's got your light on it too. So if you're working in uh, poorly lit environments and you guys need to see what you're doing, as you guys can see, just like that, we're good. Tons of power. The torque on this thing is nuts. You see how it kicks. So yeah, definitely check this out. Use it all the time. Great drill. I highly recommend it. DeWalt in Milwaukee are my two brands for go-to um, power tools, DeWalt and Milwaukee. As long as you're not in Wyoming with it dropping 40 degrees in 30 minutes and the baby's not in the room, you're good. Yeah, this is true. This is true. I just need to let a little bit of cool air in because like I'm sweating. I mean, I know I got a hoodie on, but come on. You gotta, gotta rep the DB. I gotta rep the DB. It has to happen. It has to happen. Um, so like I said, we are 3D printing today. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with what 3D printing is, we are printing physical stuff like this bad boy right here, Sly. <clears throat> Here's a neat name for our snowman, Snow Livia, Newton John. Okay, we'll just we'll just call it Snow Livia. So Snow Livia is going to join the ranks of Sly and Fido. Sly and Fido, is that is that who we're gonna be? Um, all right, Snow Livia, what say, what say you, chat? Snow Livia, okay with you? I'm down. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. So, kind of moving into more of a techie space, we are gonna take a look at this Inosin 27-inch 4K Ultra HD monitor. So this monitor is beautiful. It is made so dang well. Um, at three hundred dollars, it's a great deal. It's, it's a 27 inch 4K, 1 million to one contrast ratio. Um, where did I get this hat? Hmm, you wanna know where I got my hat, huh? At the store that shall not be named. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on and take a look at this. So this monitor is a great monitor for video editors, graphic designers, multimedia artists, just stuff like that in, in general. It is good for gaming just because of how good it looks, but just know that this monitor is only 60 hertz. 
So you're only you're not going to get the biggest jump in performance gaming on this thing because it can only do 60 hertz. So you're only ever really going to get 60 frames per second. Now, that's not a big deal if you don't play games that are very high paced with a lot of moving stuff. Uh, but like the games I play, they're all like they're all like FPS games. So I need more of a refresh rate. So I actually use this as my secondary monitor when I'm video editing. And I'm telling you guys, this monitor looks so dang good. So 60 hertz is the refresh rate. Yes. Uh, it has a cable pass through on the back of it. So you can do, um, you know, have better cable management. Uh, now, you can actually plug this in to your computer through that USB-B port. And now what that's going to do is give you guys the option to actually use this as a um, USB pass-through. So you have more USB ports. It's got two HDMI ports, a display port, USB-C, and an optical port. Now, where this thing stands out is the colors. Look at how good this thing looks. Look at the darks in the background on the shades from the trees. The greens are vibrant. Um, the, the monitor just looks so dang nice. So, if you guys need a new monitor, definitely check this one out. You guys can see the difference from 1080p. So, this is like the monitor that I actually game on now. It just has a higher refresh rate. Um, it looks good. Nobody would complain about it. Look at the colors. They're kind of muted, to be honest. Because when we switch over to the 4K version and look at the same exact scene, you guys can see how much more vibrant this monitor is than um, my previous monitors that, of course, I still use. So if you guys need a new 4K monitor for whatever, watching movies, video editing, playing games, definitely pick that one up. But now you guys need a really nice way to mount those monitors to your desk. To your desk. So uh, let me see. Lars... It is the store that shall not be named, but it starts with a W and most towns have it. I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move on and take a look at this Wanwo dual monitor stand. Uh, monitor stands... Whoa. Monitor stands are a great way to free up space on your desk, first of all, but they also give you a really nice... Let me move the drill out of the way. They give you a, it makes it much easier to adjust all of your monitors. What's up, Demetrius Lofton? Everybody, you guys know the guy that um, like stutters and everything in his videos and gets mad at product manuals? He's here, Demetrius Lofton. Look at him, he's here, that's him. That's him right there, Demetrius Lofton. Welcome. So like I said, we're gonna look at this Wanwo, Wanwo um, dual monitor stand. Savage. I'm about that life. I'm about that life. He knows how it is out here. Nobody's safe in these Amazon live streaming streets. Nobody's safe in these Amazon live streaming streets. Are you looking for a solution to save space on your desktop? Looking for no more because we have here. Like you can ask Candy. If you're in these, if you're in these Amazon live streets, you gonna get got. You gonna get got. Ask her. Candy gonna get got. No dual monitor stand. It is here to save the day. And in, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble this package right here. The model we're using is HND S6. In the box, you will find the instruction manual along with the arms. Be careful. The arm is really heavy. Like this part right here. So make sure that you are strong enough to hold it. Besides, you will have also like my voice. What did I say? I can't hear this. Why am I still wearing my headphones? This is ridiculous. Screw. This screw is for attaching the arms together, and also another screw. Yo 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 yo! What's up, Alyssa? No, the video. I don't even know who. I don't even know whose video this is. To attach the arm to the table. I can't hear it. I don't know who's I don't know who's recording this video. I can't hear it. Somebody let me know who is this? Where did you get the video? This is this is our video. I just don't know who's filming this. I feel like remember this is a Dragon Blogger team member, so you guys um are savage out here. Now Dang's gonna get got.
You guys are out here being savage today. Apologize! Oh, and here you go. These are the two screws I'm talking about. Having a dual monitor stand is really useful. Not only does it help save space on your desk, but it also provides a lot of convenience. This stand raises your monitor to the eye level, so you will not have to bend your neck to watch the screen. It also reducing strain from your neck, shoulder, and back. It also improves your posture for the productive work as well. Make sure that you give owner bolts a good tight so that the monitors won't fall down during your usage. Here, we are assembling each joint of the arm. Each joint is fully adjustable. It can help you tilt the monitor from negative 50 degree to positive 35 degree, swivel from negative 90 to positive 90 degree, and rotate a full 360 degree. Hence, you have to tighten everything carefully in here. One thing I really like about this arm is it is part a wide range of table thickness. This system you are seeing here is very configurable. You just play the clamp where you desire and make sure that it stay there. See, you can also change to another knot too. This is what it looks like when we are done. They are very sturdy and they can also hold up to 6.5 kg per arm. The gas spring desk arm lets you adjust with such smooth action. The monitor stand allows you to swivel, tilt, and rotate your monitor easily and conveniently. Feel free to set your monitors to customize the angle and the position you desire. If you are looking for a monitor arm, I highly recommend this product. Easy to use, provide lots of convenience, offer space saving solution, and highly adjustable. Alright guys, so there you guys go. That is the Wanwo dual monitor stand. If you guys don't have monitor stands for your computer and you have multiple monitors, you guys have to pick it up. It, 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 it's a necessity. It's a necessity. So, we're going to go ahead and move on. Don't forget guys, we are doing a mini portable projector today live on the stream. But let's go ahead and jump over to the... Um, Let's go ahead and jump over to the 3D printer cam because our snowman is starting right now. So if you guys have ever wanted to see what it looks like when a 3D printer starts, this is what it looks like. Now you guys can see we've got the desk. This is what it looks like. So what we want to look for is we want to make sure that the first layer is sticking. We want to make sure that the first layer is sticking to the bed. That's the most important part. And the reason I say that is let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Let me bring this down just a little bit and get it a little bit closer. So if that first layer, if that first layer doesn't stick correctly, what's going to happen is the rest of the print will not stick correctly either. Because if the first layer, your base isn't there correctly, then I mean, there's nothing to stick to. It's not going to look good. So I think we got that focus pretty good. Uh, but so far, it's looking like it's going to work correctly. So we'll just leave it and uh that's it but if you guys want a chance to win that portable projector that we're giving away today all you have to do is go to uh www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live so hit the follow button go to our website get signed up come back in the chat and type we love anchor we also do a five dollar amazon gift card giveaway every 10 followers on the stream so I'm going to go ahead real quick and go back and make sure that um, make sure that we haven't hit 10 followers on the stream. I know we've hit a few. So we got Jay Powell. Thank you for the follow, Jay Powell. Um, we have Misty Nicole Dollar. That's two followers, chat. Let's bring it back. Matthew Adams, that's three followers. Come on, keep it going. Renee, that's five. That's four. Math is hard. Four followers. Richard Powell, five. Five followers. I got to keep it going. I got to find it. I got to find it. We're at five followers, chat. Five followers. Keep it going. Yep. L-A-R-S. L-A-R-S with the follow. Thank you so much. That is six followers, chat. We need... That means we need... I just checked. We need four more followers to do an Amazon gift card giveaway. Every 10 followers, we do a gift card giveaway on my streams. Nobody talked to Nate so he can make it through to the end. 
That's rude, but also so true. <laughs> the weather outside is weather. Lori Denim with the follow. Thank you so much. That's seven followers. That is seven followers, my friends. So if you guys need um, a little bit of encouragement, we only need three more followers to do another gift card giveaway. Uh, Lori, I appreciate you following. Thank you so much. If you guys have already hit that follow button, you need to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Get entered there. That is going to get you entered to potentially win the gift card and the... Um, Um, gift card. No, the gift card and the portable projector. Chat, you know, words are hard. You guys know how this works around here. Uh, but moving on, we're going to take a look at this Logitech G Cloud Gaming Portable Handheld Gaming Handheld Portable. All right? <laughs> we love Anchor. Uh, Gabriel Pate, thank you so much for the follow. We need two more followers to do our first gift card of the day. Two more followers. If you guys want a chance to win a gift card, hit that follow button and go to our website. I just shared a link right up in the chat. Was that a David Spade laugh? What is David Spade? I mean, what, what is David Spade? Uh, what is his laugh? <laughs> like, I can't, I can't picture it. James here, man. As you can see, I have the laugh. Merlene Spear with the follow. We need one more follower. Just the one. Just the one. So make sure you guys are hitting that follow button. We need one more. Taraka Ramarau Ram Ramarau started following. We got JT Monco with the follow. Thank you so much. Keep it going, chat. We do have a gift card in the bag right now. We need nine more followers to make that too. I'll check G Cloud Gaming uh, handheld console piece here, guys. Uh, what we're gonna do is play the song Necesito. I know that song Necesito. Da 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 beep -a beep -a. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna grab it. JT Monceau. Oh, I'm way off. I'm way off. I'm way off. I knew that. I was testing you to make sure you remembered, just so you know. I'm gonna give it a first world or test. And we have the console right here. So there is your handheld device. Now, we're gonna power this on, of course. Uh, powering it on. It's just like this. Here we come. Just slide it over and it's going to pop up. You guys see Logitech G. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shut the light off above us and give us a little bit more, a little bit easier lighting so you guys can see this controller itself. We don't want to take away from it. So here we go. Now we do have to press this in. It'll ask for a pin code, of course. Once we're on, we're on. Now, here's where it gets cool. I can take over my Steam account, or I can turn on my Xbox account. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the Xbox account. And as you can see, simple, easy, guys. It's loading, no issues. If I go down here, we're going to go down and actually grab Need for Speed. We're going to load it up. Now, this does have volume, so. It is all the way maxed out, but I'm going to turn it down. So don't forget, guys, we are doing our gift card giveaway right after this video. So if you guys want a chance to win, make sure you guys are hitting that follow button. Welcome, Lori Lynn. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you guys are hitting that follow button and going to our website, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. We're doing a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway right after this video. Make sure you guys are getting entered and typing in the chat. We love Anchor. What we got? We got, we got we got like two minutes left, but check this out, chat. You guys can play on the go your favorite games from your Steam library, from Origin. I mean, this thing's awesome. Unfortunately, I could not actually record the way I wanted to record today. K start is following. Everybody, welcome K to the stream. Okay. Okay, K, you followed. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna play. Guys, look at that. Look at it load. Look at the colorations. It's actually very nice. Now, the buttons are... Sheila Lynn Yaros. Welcome to the stream. To be honest. And now we're going to play some driving. As you guys see, it's only as good as the driver. And, of course, I'm kind of 
playing this out of loop here. Zoom around just like that. Loop a little 360 kind of. Change directions. Head off. Drive through some trees, you know, past the gas station. Like, look at that. Look at that. Without a doubt, that thing is incredible. So definitely check that out. Uh, Sheila said, wow, I am also Sheila Lynn. Oh, because Sheila Lynn Yaras started following. What in the Sheila Lynn is going on here? How many Sheila Lynns and Lorries and Lynns and and beans, greens, tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes? How, what, what's going on here, okay? I need to figure this out. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our 3D print real quick. See how that's going. Uh, and it appears to be 3D printing. Yeah, okay. It is printing. Wow. Look at that. Much print, such color. Much print, such color. Only one Mama Siren. Hey, this is true. I know your name says R Rising Siren. Am I the only one? Did I start the Mama Siren thing? Please tell me. I did, right? That, that came from me. I'm the one. I am the chosen one. I'm pretty sure I started Mama Siren. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if anyone else calls her Mama Siren, j you're welcome, by the way. You're welcome. Hey, weather. Oh, the weather. You guys want some Christmas carols? I'll give you some Christmas carols right now. I'll give you some Christmas carols. Feliz Navidad. Wait for it. Feliz Navidad. Wait for it. Feliz Navidad. Spro Prospero on you, Evie. Feliz Navidad. Oh, the weather outside is weather. And it's cold and it is weather. Hi, Nate. It's been a long time. Gladys, welcome back. Welcome back. Lorenzo, welcome to the stream. I wish you a Merry Christmas, Lorenzo. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Spanish on point. It's really not. <laughs> Dude, stop. Say, hey, Whittle. Say, hey, Whittle. Don't ever speak my language again. Just You can say that to me and I won't get offended. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and move on and take a look at this. Um, uh, pluggable, pluggable USB-C 7-in-1 hub. Exactly. Thank you, Weddle. De nada. All right. So, um, arriba. USB-C hubs and I say that for a reason because if you guys are running out of space on your um, Computer for to plug stuff in Yeah, widow. That's basically what it is. I used to I used to work at a um, Like a, a pig farm. I worked in the nursery and everyone I worked with they were all Hispanic So hey, widow. They would just teach me cuss words and stuff like that. It was awesome I loved it and then funny story about this too do you have a Mac with only two USB-C ports? Do you need more? Boom. Exactly. J Pai Lama with the absolute clutch intro on this product. But I got I got to tell this story. I got to tell this story. So, I had always wanted to This was 2014. Let's go way way back. Two, the year is 2014. I, I it's my first year out of high school. I was looking for a summertime job before college and I ended up getting a job out at a pig farm working in the nursery. Like I said, the majority I, I only worked with the Hispanics. That's, that was it. That was it. It was me, the whitest guy you know, and a bunch of people from like Culiacan and stuff like that. So I had always wanted to try tamales because I had never had them before. So there was this there was this um, lady. Her name was Maria. And I used to ask her, I said, hey, will you please make like homemade, authentic, like authentic Mexican tamales? And she said, yeah. So it was a Friday. She said she would bring them on Monday for lunch. She, she brought them out for everybody. She brought them out for everybody. This is the only story I have about tamales. So she brought them out for everybody. She handed them to me. And I was so excited because I'd always heard they were so good. Little did I know that the corn husk that they cook it in is supposed to be removed. So uh, in front of everybody that knows how to eat tamales that they call huero, 
I just started biting into it. And I didn't know that you were supposed to remove it, right? So I'm sitting there. It is the chewiest thing I've ever ate because you're not supposed to eat the corn wrapping on it. You're not supposed to do that. So now they're all looking at me. And you, you know that you know that type of laugh that you do when you're in class, like when you were in high school or whatever, when you're in class, or just in general. You know the type of laugh you're not supposed to do, but the fact that you're not supposed to laugh makes it even harder. You know, like the mouth closed, like belly jumping laugh, like <clears throat> they're all doing one of those ones. And so then she asked me, and she's laughing too, and I don't know why they're laughing. I think they're laughing because they know, I mean, they know I'm not supposed to eat that. But they're laughing because I'm they, they can see that I'm trying to be nice. And she was like, is it good? And I, I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Gracias. And so, and so, um, uh, <laughs> uh, so this guy from Culiacani comes over. He says, hey, what are you supposed to take that off? And I said, what? What do you mean I'm supposed to take this off? He's like, you're supposed to unwrap it. And so then I, my face goes flush red. I start saying the only cuss words in Spanish I know to them for laughing at me so hard. And then um, I eat it and it was the best thing I've ever had. So, uh, yeah, just complete, completely ate the corn husk, had no idea, had never had it. Whitest kid you know. <laughs> hey, James J., welcome. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, James, we were just telling a story about um, I used to work on a pig farm and I only worked with Hispanics and I wanted tamales. So this um, lady, Maria, brought some and I didn't know you were supposed to take the corn husk off. And so they were all sitting there at lunchtime and uh, she gave it to me and I bit right into it and I was trying to be nice and it was chewy because I ate the corn husk that you're supposed to take off. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you. Oh, you guys take the husks off when you eat them. My late fiance used to eat the shrimp with the shells and didn't know either. Growing up, I didn't know that you were, like, I would see people eat sunflower seeds, and I didn't know that. Like, I used to always wonder why do people, um, why do people eat sunflower seeds? This is terrible because I would just chew. Uh, I would just chew the like entire seed. I wouldn't like break the shell and spit it out. I would chew everything. Uh, let me catch up on the chat real quick. Yeah, it was it was rough. It was rough. But I will tell you that working out there, uh, some of the best times I've ever had. Some of the best times I've ever had. I know some that would eat the whole sunflower seed. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, but like I said, chat, we are going to go ahead and jump in and take a look at this 7-in-1 USB-C uh, hub port. So if you guys are running out of space on your computer or your Mac um, or your PC or your Mac, this is a great way to add those hubs or add more USB ports to it. James here, and today we're taking a look at the pluggable USB, USB 3 right here. Just a simple little hub. You have your USB-C port. This port will connect into your USB-C device, uh, your phones, uh, pretty much anything you want. So yes, you can plug it into your phone and use it that way. Uh, your tablets, your MacBooks, your t you know, anything that has a USB-C port. Now, just remember, it has to have that port. Now, with that being said, you also have the 4K uh, plug right here, your HDMI 4K plug. So you can actually add a second monitor to that device, which is actually quite cool. You then have your micro SD card and your TF card reader right there. So you have those two slots. On the other side, you have your three USB uh, 3.0s. Those 3.0s, guys, are good for five gigabytes of transfer right now. Here's where it gets cool. You have a USB-C port right here. This USB-C port, guys, is good for 87 watts of charging power. Yes, you heard me right. It will actually allow 87 watts to go through there. Uh, it's a pass-through, so you can charge your device with 87 watts. Uh, if you guys need, maybe the pluggable uh, USB-C 7-in-1 hub is the one for you. I right, thank you for checking this video out. I hope you guys have a great one. So there you guys go, just like that. Uh, but does anybody else have any other stories like that? 
Does anybody else have any other stories where you weren't aware of like traditional customs from like other like ethnicities or races or cultures? Yeah, culture. Do, does anybody have any funny culture stories like that? Because I have a gang of them. I have one not quite the same. I want to know. Alicia Brown, welcome back. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Nate, have you ever had menudo? I don't know. I don't know. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't sit here and say for sure that I have. What is it? Is it tasty? Is it delicious? Is it magically nutritious? Because it's none of those things. I don't want it. Okay, I don't want it. Um, but as you guys know, the weather outside is weather. And where I'm at, it's super cold. Um, but if you guys need a good way to warm up outside, maybe it's not as cold as it is here. Uh, those nice fall evenings. Maybe you guys are like in the 40s and you want a nice fire pit. Uh, I have something really nice for you guys. So this East Oak 17-inch smokeless fire pit is on sale today for $178. And you know his cow stomach? Uh, nope, I haven't. Restaurant. Restaurant we go to has Hispanic staff in the back. They were insulting the waitress and my roommate is bilingual. I didn't know widows put raisins in almost anything. That's not supposed to have it. Menudo. Am I saying it correctly? Menudo? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Feels like negative 38 here. F in the chat for Lars because he's going through it. Or she's going through it. Being regular, she came up to us and asked if we know what they were saying. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you. Who else speaks Spanish in the chat, by the way? Just put an F in the chat. if you. No, put a 1. Put 1 in the chat if you speak Spanish. I need to know. I have the like translator earbud, so I can I can now know if they're making fun of my nose. Carlos Vinunez Rodriguez speaks Spanish. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, fire pit. I filmed this video. Dragon Blogger Nate, it's him. It's really this is this happened. Check this out, guys. This is awesome. It really is smokeless too. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. East Oak Outdoor Smokeless Patio Fire Pit. Now, I have tested fire pits in the past, and honestly, all of them have always just kind of felt cheap quality, but not with this East Oak. This thing is a beast. I'm going to show you guys how exactly this works. So you guys can see that you have this really nice charcoal design with the East Oak branding. Whenever you pick this up, you will get a fire hook right here that's going to double in two ways, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. You're going to have a removable tray lid right here in order to safely store all of your firewood in it. Now just know if you guys go out and buy like regular chopped firewood, some of them might be too long for this or too wide. So just make sure that if you can get smaller firewood, definitely do that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place this back up on top. This is an all metal construction and this is going to use a two burning layer in order to give you more heat, a brighter glow, and also has a higher oxygen intake because of the way that this is set up. So if we go ahead and look over on the inside, you guys can see that right down in there, that is your burn plate. So whenever you're done burning. So the only reason I didn't like burn more wood in this is because when I was filming this, it was like nighttime. It was super cold outside and I didn't want to sit there and wait for the fire to burn out. And I didn't really feel like pouring water all over the wood. So I just did one. The way that this is designed with the airflow, you are going to get minimal smoke. So it's going to be really nice to stay warm. Robin, we have five more hours. We've already been going for an hour and 36. We're almost halfway through the stream. It's a four hours, five more hours. I get it though. I get it. Warm and at the same time not have smoke blowing around. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fire lit outside. We're not going to do a big one and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. So we are outside and you can see that this fire is burning red hot. This is going to be great for those of you guys that want to entertain friends in the winter. You guys like to stay warm. You guys like to stay outdoors. You guys can do s'mores. There's so many things that you can do. And the craziest thing is I'm only actually burning one piece of wood. I did use some lighter fluid, but the, this East Oak patio heater is just incredible. So definitely check it out. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. All right, there you guys go. So great way to stay warm on like fall evenings when it's nice and cool outside. Uh, but let's go ahead and do our gift card giveaway. So um, if you guys are ready, go ahead and type in the chat, take the corn husk off. 
that's the keyword for this gift card giveaway that we're about to do. You have to type in the in the chat, take the corn husk off. There we go. So, like I said, it is time to do this gift card giveaway. So let's see who the first winner is going to be. As they left the train, I waved to them and said, Oh, you, then you spoke in German? <laughs> so you guys are all entered? You guys are all good and entered at the website? Fine. 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 Okay, fine. Let's see who the winner is. The winner of the first gift card today, not 11k $200 giveaway. Don't forget to enter that too. We're giving away a $200 gift card. Uh, that's ac that actually ends today, so make sure you guys are getting entered at our website for that one. But for now, the winner of the first gift card today on the stream is going to be no way. No way. Robin L, the person that asked if they missed it. Robin L. The person that asked if she missed the giveaway, Robin, are you here? Robin, are you here? I guess, I guess ask or ask and you shall re ask hashtag complain and you, she didn't really complain, but ask inquisitively and you will receive. Congratulations, Robin. Oh, wait, Robin Luker said here. And then another Robin Luker said here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do about this? Dang it. There's two of them. There's two of them. I guess, I guess they kind of cancel each other out. They just, nobody wins. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's the way it goes. Sorry, Robin Luker and the other Robin Luker. I need rework. What's that rework? What, 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 what's that? I have no idea. Redo. Psych. Robin Luker thought she was going crazy. What do you mean going crazy? I thought you already were. Just kidding. Air fives. Uh, we're going to look at this crystally queen mattress. So this is a 10-inch memory foam mattress in a box or a bag. I don't know. I don't know how this one works. This mattress do be mattressing, though. Uh-oh. Email confirmation. I was just kidding. Candy, <laughs> GGG. It was only one. She just wanted to make sure we knew. She said, here, 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 here. Here and ready to party. She took my luck away. Check this out, guys. If you guys need a new mattress, this is a nice one. A nice queen size mattress for only 280 bucks. Now, I want you guys to pay attention, okay? Pay attention to the end of the video because I have... I mean, I know the cat is okay now, but it sounds like something happened to the cat. Today, we have the Crystal 10-inch Memory Foam Mattress. I went ahead and opened this up yesterday, no, two days ago, to give it a chance to fully puff up, and I've had a couple of nights on it, which is amazing so far. Thank you. So, a couple oh. things is, it has... We're not talking about the bills now, are we? So, if you guys want to get to the end of the stream, if you guys want to get to the end of the stream and do the giveaway for the projector, um... Blame Robin for talking about the Bills. Because you guys know what happens when we talk about football around here. You know what happens. I'll go. I'll, I'll speak for 10 minutes straight about the Bills. So what happens next is on Robin, okay? It's, say, say hashtag thanks Robin. Very stretchy fabric to help minimize motion transfer between the two people. No, whoever's sleeping on it. Underneath that, we have... There's going to be a comfort memory foam layer below this. Below that is a adjustable memory foam layer that helps. It's it's corrugated. It's wavy. It helps increase temperature or not increase, but increase airflow. So this does not get very hot. Below that we've got a fire retardant level. Below that we're going to have a high density memory foam layer, and then there's going to be a layer of springs which you can see right here between sandwich between those two high density layer of memory foam each spring is individually wrapped to minimize motion transfer and decrease the squeakiness from the mattress and it's surprisingly very comfortable or it was only verbal 
I mean about the cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you mean. You guys see right there? It looks like a very nice mattress. Uh, looks super cozy. Cozy. Uh, what do we have up next? I don't know. I don't know. Let me push all these buttons. Oh, so your neighbors can't hear you next door? As he speaks. Hashtag Jalen Hurts will fold in the playoffs. said what I said chat let's check up on our snowman I don't know what's how this is printing it's actually it looks super weird that 3d printer is so cool well wait we're gonna do an up close shot boom look at that you see how it's like it's printing something on the inside hold on I can't it's printing something on the inside of it and it's also printing the rim too kind of weird kind of weird kind of cool kind of like it kind of code kind of code um listen guys we do a gift card giveaway every 10 followers we need eight more right now to do another gift card giveaway and we're giving away a portable projector at the end of the stream so if you guys are brand new here drop a follow button i mean don't do i don't hit the follow button don't hit it push the follow button on your screen kind of weird kind of cool kind of hungry kind of tired after you guys hit that follow button, go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Because at the end of the stream today, we are going to be doing a projector giveaway. Yay! I don't have the soundboard set up anymore, so ah, yay! Oh my gosh, Nate Wilson! Dragonblogger Nate! Look at you! What's the biggest thing you 3D printed? Evan's probably Grogu. You know, Baby Yoda? Do you remember that? I'm sure you do. Probably that. Let's be real here. It was probably Grogu. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I haven't printed anything that big. Hurts will not play again in the regular season. Well, yeah, they already clinched their division, didn't they? So, yeah, they they don't have to fight for their division to bring um, to bring the playoffs through Philadelphia. So they don't have to. Like we had some. There were some Bills fans asking, like, or saying that like we shouldn't play Josh Allen anymore. I'm like, listen. We clinched playoffs. We didn't clinch our division. We still... Josh Allen needs to play still. 100%. Wait, what? This doesn't look right. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Here we go. What happened to the soundboard? It's not enabled right now. It's not enabled. Let's look at this uh, little mini electric scooter for kids. Hey everyone, I'm Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you a really awesome, amazing electric kid scooter. Now this is the GoTrax GKS Lumios, and it's called the Lumios because of. I will be right back, chat. I just gotta step over here. I might put on some shorts. I'm burning up, burning up for you, baby the front wheel which you'll see shortly now it does feature a nice little back panel that you use to break it but when you want to turn on the light you simply just have to press that front button and you can press either or of the buttons to turn it off now it automatically kick in because when you start driving it all you have to do is hit that front button and then kick off and then press the back button to accelerate but this thing looks absolutely amazing it is fantastic in every way and i love the bright color now it takes about five hours to charge this thing fully and you get about 4.8 miles of distance and a max speed of 7.5 miles per hour the only assembly process that you really have is screwing down <laughs> speaking of clinched Nate will be back soon. And this is true. I will. The base and screwing up here in these two holes to make sure that you can put the handlebars in. But outside of that, that's basically it. And it's really easy to go about and adjust. Now, what's also really cool is that you can see right here, it has these little pinholes right here that you can use to adjust the handlebars themselves. All you have to do is unclip this little piece right here and then press the button into the hole and so that you can slide up and then it will lock in at each interval. And then you can just put it at whatever interval 
what you wanted to and then lock it back into place and you are good to go as i mentioned earlier when you want to actually ride this thing all you have to do is put your foot on the front button which will activate the light and then kick off once you kick off you simply press that back button and that is how you accelerate when you want to slow down all you will have to do is lift up your back foot and press down on the manual brake so that you can apply pressure to the wheel and slow down but this thing looks absolutely amazing in the nighttime i love it i am just a little bit over the weight limit but it still it's still works just that's fine a big it goes child. Over bumps and concrete very gosh kids are just getting bigger and bigger every year it seems wow there you guys go oh that ooh, okay great christmas gift right there 120 bucks 30 dollars off today does anybody have any funny like christmas stories from when they were a kid any funny Christmas stories? I need Christmas stories in the chat. So, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I was born at a very young age. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all, that's it. I just wanted you guys to know I was born at a very young age. You know, I, I, I'm upset with myself because I know in my head I thought that was funny. And nobody's gonna laugh, but that's, that's just the way it is. But no way. You were but I mean you were born at a very young age too. I don't know, that's kind of a unique thing. It's kind of unique. So I don't I don't know. Uh we're gonna go ahead and yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> Lydia, really? That's how I pictured you saying it, Lydia. Really? You smiled? So I got like a I got a little bit of a reaction at IRL. A little IRL act reaction. I mean, that's okay. I at least, I'm going to be real with you. I'm disappointed that my my humor didn't at least get a, like, you know, like one of those, like, nose exhales, like a, one of those, but I'm here all day, literally. Where is my button? The East Oak deck box is the next product we're going to look at. Okay. Okay. The 31 gallon patio storage box. Dad joke, I saw a movie about how ships were put together. It was riveting. I'm debating if I'm physically able to jump out of the window after that dad bot after that dad joke. Five feet tall. If I open the window, jump at it at like a 45 degree angle. I think I can make it. Yeah, I could probably make it. I'm just kidding. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, eh. I need... I need a little bit of... I need a little bit of a, like a jump in those jokes though. If you, if you know what I'm saying, I need, I need you to really kick it into gear. But, um... Aren't you a, uh, you're a Vikings fan, right? Start running from the hallway. Can you guys imagine if that's actually what you saw? I jumped through the window. Oh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put it past me. What do you call a group of baby soldiers in infantry? All right, see you guys later. No, Robin. No, bad. Bad Robin. No, Robin. No. No, Robin. You do not make those jokes. His jaw is broken. Okay. Window crashing in the background. <laughs> So if I just open this up. No. No. Blues can do, we can too. Um, yeah, let's actually let's let's look at some products, okay? 
I call them baby geniuses, LL. Anyone remember those movies? No. I don't. How is your baby daughter, Nate? She's doing really good. She's happy. She's healthy. She's pretty. She looks just like me. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Just stick your head out in the four-degree weather for a refresh. I have a screen there. So I can't, like, you know, I can't. But I can just, like, put my face up to it. I, I need a refresh. I need a reset. I'll just put my face there. Hey, birds. Hey, birds. I thought you flew south for the winter. Why are you here still? You're supposed to be in Mexico. What are you doing? Why are the birds still here? They're supposed to be south. They don't know how it works. They're they're new birds. They're you know they're fresh. They don't know how bird. They don't know how to do. They don't know how to be a bird. Just the way it goes. Leave a screen imprint. Sup, nerd. See, you know what? Uh, we don't condone. Con Wait, we don't condone words like that in the chat. So, get muted. No, I'm just kidding. It didn't have a passport. Sorry. Turn around, man. I I'm in the air. How are you here? Turn around. You gotta go back that way, man. Florida is overcrowded. I call you what you call yourself. My, yeah, my name is literally Super Nerd Nate. Ha ha hee ha ha. Check out this box. It's a nice box. Pulling out the coop at the lot. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm here showcasing the East Oak Patio Container or Storage Box. This is a resin storage box, and it's approximately 22 inches by 17 inches by 20 inches with a depth of about 19 inches. I really like the side handles, and you have a lock in the front that you can put a padlock on if you need to lock it. Really, really deep storage, can hold a lot. I could use it for dog toys, garden tools, anything I need right there. It's easy to put together. You need no tools whatsoever. You just snap all the pieces in place and it's quite sturdy. It could support a weight of up to 170 pounds uh, if you want to use it as a bench or a seat, which you can. And it's UV resistant, weather resistant, and again, just a generally good storage container for garden tools, dog toys, or anything you want to store and have easy access to outside or in your garage or shed. All right, there you guys go. So very simple, very easy, and cheap way to just keep stuff stored outside. Garden hoses, um, birds, uh, projectors, um, Vicky. There's so many things you can store outside in the freezing cold temperatures. So definitely check that out. Now we have the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Oh, dang it. I thought it was the Motion Boom Plus. You guys are lucky because we were about to vibe out. Vibe out. That's his word. You can't use that word. Um, did you do first giveaway yet? Rising Sun? We totally did. Congrats to Robin Luker, by the way. Yeah, we totally did. Uh, we still need eight followers to do another gift card giveaway. So if you guys are new here and you're like, I want money, just hit that follow button and then you'll have a chance. That's it. If I was outside right now, I would die. Are you trying to kill me? Harsh. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like negative 30 outside right now. With wind chill. With wind chill. What's the temperature in Denver, Colorado? I don't know. Negative one. It's negative 30 degrees without wind chill. Press X for doubt. Press X for doubt. Where are we? Um, and raising close enough to me. Yuck! Yeah, that's that's cold. That's that's an F. That's an F in the chat. Vicky, didn't you win the Soundcore Motion Boom? Somebody from my stream won the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom before. I know somebody has. Oh, yeah. How is the sound quality on this? How do you always forget? Dude, I don't know what I said 30 seconds ago. 
James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Anchor. This is their Soundcore Motion Boom. This is a 30 watt Bluetooth speaker, guys, that is fully waterproof with IPX7 waterproof uh, verification. Now, it does have a customizable EQ on their Soundcore app, which is very cool. 24 hours of playtime plus their base up, I, uh, base up plus IQ charging. Now, I did not realize this actually had the IQ charge, but it does actually have it. Well, at least it says on the front, right? So, guys, power IQ charge out, which is cool, really cool. You know, titanium drivers, fully waterproof, plus USB-C connectivity. Let's pop it open and show you guys what you get in the packaging, which is actually quite nice. Now, the first thing I'm greeted with is actually USB to USB-C cable, and hopefully you guys can see that. Nice that they give that. Then we have, of course, the instruction book. How do we sound? How do we work? And all that cool stuff. Then we have the speaker itself. And I'm going to try to kind of do this without knocking too much stuff over. And I apologize, guys, for the background noise. We did remove background removal today so we can actually do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set this like this. And I'm going to grab this speaker. First up, guys, nice looking. I love the little handle. On the top, you guys will actually see the power button, Bluetooth button, bass button, volume up and down and pause and TWS staring. Then you have your passive little uh, passive speakers over here, guys. These are not really speakers. They're just passive like radiators on both sides. Then you have your dual drivers, which are titanium. Then on the back, guys, you actually have this nice little waterproof plug. Pop it open. You have your USB-C to ion IQ charger which is cool, that means you can charge your phone off this device. Let's power it up, right? No, should have heard that. We are now powered up. Let's grab us a phone, and let's go into Bluetooth settings, of course. Now let's try and connect this. Hey, Justin, if you are in the stream, can you please check Discord? We now actually, and it's actually pairing up. Hopefully you guys can see that. We are now paired up. So then you go over to the Soundcore app, of course, guys, over here. Just like that, Soundcore app. Wait for it to load. Then we're going to wait until it pops up. There we go. Now you click oh, Connect, and it's going to connect. Now it does say Firmware Update, so we do need to update that firmware. Click over. It's going to come here, and it's going to tell you to update it. We're going to download and update it, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, now that we're done there, we can pop over here in the app, and you guys can see it popped up. Then you have your volume control right here, guys, with the volume, or you can play and pause, or you can go up into the sound core signature settings. You have several settings or customization. If you want to do customization, guys, you can actually customize your own EQ, which is very, very cool. We're going to leave it as it is, right? You do have more device settings up here, guys, like auto power off after 30 minutes, voice prompt, firmware updates, disconnects, and all that. But what does it sound like? Let's play some music for you guys, right? Dude, guys, I'm impressed. Let me... All right, guys, I'm impressed right now, but I'm going to set this up so you guys can actually see this sitting a little better, right? Let's put it right in front of you guys. I know this is a little bit angled, but I want to give you guys a look at this as it's playing, right? And then try to do the buttons. So... We can pause it. We can play it. Adjust it up. TWS. Face off. On. Guys, that's quite impressive. Again, guys, this is the Soundcore by Anchor. This is their Soundcore Motion Boom. Actually has a lot of room filling sound. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and have a great day.
Oh, sorry, chat. The video is done. Yeah, so if you guys need a fantastic Bluetooth speaker that's normally 110 bucks for $75, definitely check that out. Um, don't forget to um, hit that follow button and go to our website, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. We're going to have a little bit of a shorter stream. I have to hop off relatively soon. We have a few more products we're going to cover. So we're going to go ahead and jump and take a look at the... Tribit Flybuds C or Tribit, yeah, Flybuds C2 Bluetooth headphones. And you guys make sure you're getting entered to win, uh, potentially win that gift card here in a, or, um, that portable projector here in a little bit. Take a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Tribit. This is their C2 Flybuds, guys. These are our CVC 8.0 noise canceling style earbuds, which means it has four pickup microphones to help block, it, uh, block out the background noise, which is really great. Now, you'll get about 32 hours of, of use time with the case, eight hours on the buds alone, guys. It will take about an hour and a half to two hours. This is just. You know, my ears may not fit these, is what I'm uh, about to see, and they fit in just like that. Very simple, very easy, guys, to do that. I'm going to do some testing, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I use the Tribit Flybud C2s a little bit, guys, I can actually tell you, uh, making phone calls, it actually works really great. It actually blocked out the AC behind me and all the other noises that were going on around, which is really cool for a phone call. Now... The quality of sound is decent. I'm not going to say it's the best on the market, but it is decent. You get the bass, you get the treble. If you're listening to music, there's no issues there. Now, the only downside for me is, is my earbuds are a little weird, so these type of earbuds tend to not sit perfectly in my ear earbud canals, which is not a big deal. Now, you guys may be a little different out there for yours, but these are actually really nice. I actually had my daughter test them. They fit in her ears great. Now... You know, for me, I like a good ear tip that sits in there and blocks it in really good because I'm always moving. You guys see when I do videos, I move a lot. So I just want to make sure they're in there nice and tight. Put them back in, set them up, you're good to go, full charge, you're just like that, guys, if you need some. The Tibbet Flybird C2s, guys, are the ones for you. Thanks for checking out this quick little video, and have a great one. Vicky, go outside and take a pic of Gengar in the chat. Uh, but as you guys can see right there, those are Bluetooth 5.2 uh, true wireless earbuds from Tribit. Uh, 45 bucks today. Tribit makes great products. I've tested a few of them, and I, I'm telling you, they are so nice. Moving on, we're going to look at this Fit King Deep Tissue Muscle Massager. This is a great Christmas gift. I feel like everyone should have a muscle massager like this. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at it. Um, so I reviewed hey, what this is one a long time ago. I still have it. It works very, very well. It's going to come with a ton of attachment heads. As you guys can see on the inside, you have plenty of them. It has a very, very long battery life, an instruction manual that is going to keep you uh, knowledgeable on how to use this. Now, actually getting this set up is very, very um, quick. All you have to do is take it out, choose your attachment head. I'll go ahead and peel that off. I know people like that little peel right there. Uh, you have the up and down, which is going to control the level of intensity on it. Now, all you have to do to get this actually set up is just install whatever attachment head you want to use. So they have some for like your neck, your legs, uh, like your chest, your back. Uh, they have an attachment really for like anywhere where you might be sore and need to use this. And as you guys can see, just like that, it's vibrating. So if we turn it up, I'm using like this kind of like precision one. So this is good for really getting out knots in your muscles. Uh, this is great for people that are very active, people that are on their feet all day, people that work out. Um, if you guys just need a nice way to kind of iron out some of those kinks day to day, Fit King's got you covered. Now, I've told you guys this before, but I have tested out multiple, and I mean multiple um, muscle massagers in the past. And that is the best one I've ever tried. I still have it, still use it. $50 today, down from $80. So you guys are saving $30 on that today. Great last-minute Christmas gift right there. Um, we're going to look at these Govi DreamView T1 monitor backlights next. So you guys have seen these monitor backlights. Um, 
I did a different one. I did the G one. These are the T one. Um, let me see real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So what I'm showing you that is on deal today, these are TV backlights for your TV. Now, normally these lights are um, $89.99. Today you guys can get them for 36% off, so around 58 bucks, which is a really good deal. Now, the video I'm going to be showing you guys actually isn't the one that's in the carousel but this is ultimately what it's going to do so what it does is it has hey what is going on guys nothing over your monitor or in this case your tv and it will read the colors of your monitor and display them behind it so this really immerses you into the movie game or tv show uh, that you're playing or watching and makes it just look so much nicer so i'm gonna go ahead and skip through here you guys can see that it reacts very quickly too very quickly so right here i'm just playing this game you guys can see as I look around at all of the different colors, if I look down at the wood, it kind of turns to the wood color in the background. As I play stuff or as I jump in the ocean, you guys can see that it turned dark blue. And just the fact that it's able to do that immediately just makes it look so nice. There's like no delay on this and it just makes your setup look that much better. Now on top of having that camera, if you guys do want to manually control this, you can through the app and you can have it paired with other Govi lights such as like the Govi Glide if you have those or really any other Govi lights. So they all are doing the same color. You don't have to have the camera operating. You can just have it set to a, a specific color or a specific scene. Um, like I said, one of my favorite products from Govi because it makes your video games or your movie experiences just that much better because it adds a nice effect behind the monitor or TV. Uh, so moving on, another Govi product that we have on hand is this Govi Outdoor String Light Set. So on sale today, you guys can get 96 feet of RGB IC string lights that is completely controllable through the Govi app. And I'm telling you, these look so dang nice. Now, I hung these up in my room, so whenever you see, like, if they look like they weren't installed, great, it's they weren't. I just threw them up real quickly, and I decided I'd leave them. They're still up on my roof or on my ceiling right here, so they look really great. Now skipping through, you're gonna have a ton of different scenes. You guys know Govi lights, you know that there's a ton of different options whenever it comes to all of these colors and stuff like that. So if I just go ahead and scroll down, you guys can see that right now we have it set on um, uh, just a color mode, and I just went orange, red, orange, red, orange, red. But if you go to the scene setting inside of the Govi app, you have a ton of presets that you can control directly from the Govi app. So just kind of switching through it, you guys can see that you have um, this really nice kind of soothing color, really good for studying. Going more through, that's sunset right there. Um, and skipping through, you can you can make it a little bit more emphasized. You can get like party themed. Um, so the ones I'm showing you is the same exact ones, but these are only 48 feet of it. The 96 foot version today because of the sale is actually the same price as the 48 feet is normally. So great savings at $57.99. You guys can hang these up outside, indoors, really wherever you want. They're super bright and uh, fully customizable. Now, the next product we have on hand, I feel is essential for all of you guys out there that work on electronics. So electric screwdrivers are great because first of all, they're going to have magnetic bits they're going to be electric, so you know unscrewing or screwing in tiny screws is going to be that much quicker. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at this. I think Nikita did this video. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Bloggers here to show you this really amazing Hoto all-in-one designed electric screwdriver. This thing is fantastic. I love how it has the nice little telescoping grabber at the top. It makes it easier for transport. It comes with a USB-C cable with... Uh, which is what you use to charge it. Um, what's also really cool is that the case itself can lock. So right now it's locked. So no matter how hard I try to pull this, it won't come off. I simply just turn it to the unlock phase and then it slides right off. Now it comes with the actual electric screwdriver itself. 
It has a little cap up here that blocks the top where you can put the head in. You just simply, it grips pretty well, but you simply just pull it off. Um, and then of course right here, as you can see at the top, it's on the off and then it has different torque settings that you can use it on. And when you use it, you know, you can go uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, just depending on whether you want to screw something in or take something out. And it also comes with this really nice ring light so that you can see whatever you're screwing here at the bottom is where you charge it. But um, what's also cool is the little stand where it comes is where all the different types of heads are that you can use for different purposes. And whichever one you want, you just simply pull it out, go ahead and pop it into place. And then you're good to go. There's a magnetic connection that forms. And so you're good to just start screwing and then, you know, set it. Foss, do you not know what you're talking about? Wait for it. Wait for it to whatever torque setting you want or simply just turn it off to save on battery and i just think it's absolutely fantastic as an all-in-one this is one of the most uniquely designed screwdrivers that i've ever gotten to use and it just it is fantastic for all of your screwdriving needs so if you're looking for a really comprehensive all-in-one set to use definitely check out this hoto electric screwdriver it's an all-in-one set that's super easy to carry transport and use for all of your screwing needs all right, there you guys go. Again, like I said, it's essential for those of you guys that work on electronics to have an electric screwdriver set. So definitely check that one out. Uh, cordless, you don't have to have it plugged in. Um, so definitely just check that out. You just had a boy? Hey, congratulations. Everybody F's in the chat for Lars. We just had our first child, a little girl. Oh, the weather outside is baby. So moving on, my friends. We're going to jump through the carousel a little bit and we're going to take a look at this Tribit AquaEase Bluetooth speaker. And we're going to show it to you guys live on hand right now because I got it. Give me one second. Give me one second, chat. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox it first of all. So Tribit makes really nice Bluetooth speakers. Really nice. Um, so this is the AquaEase. This is IPX7 waterproof. Waterproof, not water resistant. You can put this in the water. We'll show that to you guys here soon. It's got an 18-hour battery life on it, so you're going to get tons of playback time. So really great for those pool days, summer, uh, vacation, stuff like that. It's small. It's a small form factor too, so you're going to have a ton of portability on it. It's also going to have lights built into it, easy access controls, and a little carrying handle. And it has this kind of like off pink kind of color to it so we'll go ahead and turn this on it also even has a clock built onto it so you guys can see right there uh, you got the little lights built into it if we turn off one of the lights real quick you guys can see the lights a little bit better we will go ahead and connect this to my phone and play some music so you guys can hear this let me make sure I'm connected to this Bluetooth speaker we are connected so now we will play some music And of course we I have, like of course we have, of, of course we have ads. So cut it out, ads. All right, check this out, chat. It sounds so good. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. And that's not even all the way up at all. There we go. It's all the way up now. Here's the coolest part. Like I said, completely waterproof. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like a I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look. This song makes you sick though, just saying. Yeah, I've been playing it a lot lately. I have been playing it a lot lately. So if you guys need a new Bluetooth speaker, uh, definitely check this one out. It's $35.99 today, so you guys can save a few bucks on it. Great stocking stuffer, great last minute Christmas gift idea. So definitely check this out. We'll just dry it off on my sleeve, I guess. Doesn't sound as great when underwater. No deal. <laughs> what the heck? I can't even hear it that good anymore. So you guys go. The Tribet Aqua Ease.
All right, so moving on after that amazing Bluetooth speaker from Tribit, uh, we're going to take a look at this Syncom leg massager. So we were just talking about leg massagers earlier, um, or we were talking about regular, just standard massagers. This one is designed to wrap around your legs. Syncom is one of my favorite companies that makes massagers because uh, when they make it, they make it good. Cuff has an air plug, right? One. Let's add the pressure into this. Now he's using it on his arms, but just know it is designed to go on your leg. I mean, I guess you could put it on your arm. I mean, we can see that you can. And it's now inflating, almost like an arm cuff that's taking your pressure. You can use mode one or mode two. We'll go to mode two, pop it up, let it go. And now it's going to go up and down, back and forth as it in inlets and exhales the air, which is very cool. Now, you can do this for your legs. Like I said, your legs, your feet, or your arms like this. If you want, put it up higher, cinch it tighter. We'll pop it off, right? We'll put it all the way up here. And then just tighten it up until it's nice and tight and you can feel it going. Repeat with the other side, and there you go. Again, this is from Syncom, all for the healthcare product, guys. This is an air massager. Thanks for checking out this quick video, and have a great day. Bring in the fresh ideas. There you go. Uh, but So that is normally 80 bucks today. You guys can pick it up for $48. So get kind of close to 50% off. Uh, moving on to an air purifier, we have the Drio Air Purifier macro pro with a true hepa certified air filter which means it's going to do a phenomenal job at filtering your air you're the reason why i need these air purifiers so next up is this drill air purifier again pet hair pollen so many reasons why you want a pet dander so many reasons why you want an air purifier if you're a pet owner or you live in an area that has a lot of pollen and a lot of plants it is springtime Air purifier is really important at keeping your air clean. So, let me move this over here. This Drio air purifier. One cool thing to know about it is it has an air sensor on it. Some of them don't have an air sensor. You just turn them on and they run. This one has an air sensor. Touch sensitive buttons, as you can see. It has the sensor right here when it's blinking like that, it's trying to de detect the air quality. Red means your air quality is not very good. A lot of particulates in the air. You want to eventually get it to blue, which is your air quality clean. Now, it could do, my room's about 160 square feet. It could do my room in five minutes or less, my entire room. So if this is red, I, when I first turned it on, it was red. And then I ran it. Within seven minutes, it went through the colors from red to orange to green to blue. And it basically circulated all the air in my room, removed the particulates in five minutes. So if you set it to auto mode, it only comes on when it needs to. But you have multiple different fan speed settings. This is on high right now. But you could set it to nighttime mode, where in nighttime mode, by pressing this little crescent moon over here, makes no noise whatsoever. You could still feel it, but it's making almost no noise whatsoever. It's actually too quiet. I actually like fan noise when I sleep, and that's like so quiet. So you have a timer mode for two, four, eight hours. You have a lock button, which is cool because if you have kids or people play around the buttons, you don't want to accidentally keep tapping them, so it locks the buttons out. Uh, and then you have, of course, the light here that tells you when the filter needs to be replaced. The filter on this thing, fairly large for its size. Now, this is not a huge air purifier, but it has a really nice air filter here. Multiple layers, including the carbon filter. Just rotate it out, pull out the drum, you're good to go. Pulls in air on the sides, both sides. Blows the fresh purified air out the top. And this is just a really, really cool air purifier. It has a turbo mode. I'll show that as a turbo mode. And it's, I like the way it looks, too. It's kind of futuristic looking. It's got that little, like, eye, that blinking eye at you. It, it doesn't blink. Once it detects, it doesn't stay blinking. It turns solid color. But you want that eye to be blue, that means your air is purified. All right, there you guys have it. So that is a little over $10 off on that Macro Pro True HEPA certified air filter air purifier. So moving on, we're going to take a look at this comfy retro style uh, toaster oven. So I filmed this review, uh, I'd say a couple of months ago, maybe not that long. Uh, this thing is great. We use it all the time. 
don't judge me on what I made inside of Yo. uh or when I made in this video. I completely burned these these dinner rolls. But one of my favorite things about this is um the rotary dials. I like that it's not like a digital display and it gives you that really nice ticking sound like the the quiet like tick 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 whenever it's uh counting down its time. Now this has a ton of different options built into it such as bake, broil, broil with the fan. You have obviously the toast, you have air fryer. So this is a really nice setup um, at a really good price today for $87.50. Now, one of my things that I wanted to point out is the glass on this gets really hot. It's not double insulated. So if you do end up picking this up, just don't touch the glass after you've been using it. And then it even has a light built into it too that you can keep on the entire time so you can kind of monitor how everything is cooking comes with a bunch of different trays, three different styles. Um, so if you guys just need a very simple and easy to use toaster oven, definitely pick that one up. Uh, Comfy does not miss whenever they make these products. I've tested two things from them so far and both of them were better than any other of the other types of products I've tested from other companies. Um, now we are going to check out the last product in the carousel today. So right after this next video, we are going to do our Anchor Nebula Astro Mini Portable Projector Giveaway. So make sure you guys are going to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Once you get entered there, you just need to type in the chat, we love Anchor, just like that. And uh, we will do that giveaway right after this next product, which is a great product for those of you guys that might suffer from migraines or headaches, um, or just need a good way to relax. Are you calling it now? You're calling Evans? Is that who you're calling? So this is by Comfy Tech. So this is the Comfy Tech. What you do is you set it in the freezer and it's a whole headpiece you wear that wraps around your entire head and gives you right, 360 <laughs> degrees of cooling comfort. I love this thing so much. I literally froze it. And I put it on, it naps on the couch in the afternoon. Even if I don't have a migraine, I'm using this thing because it does such a good job of cooling you, you know down. What? I so smooth cooling gel. It is so smooth, so slick. And I'm going to take my helmet hair off and put it on my head. And you can see it is, oh, this is the relief this provides, guys. <laughs> this is so amazing. It is so cold. It's, it's not so cold that it burns your skin and it hurts, right? So... It doesn't feel like if it's so cold, you have to take it off or you're going to get skin burned. You don't have to worry about that. It is just so comforting, the amount of coolness it provides to my entire head, the sides of my head, the back of my head, my eyes. I know I haven't, I just got this yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to use it. I can tell you right now, this is chilling my head and it just feels so nice. This is really, really cool. I'm just thrilled that I got this. It's so slick. Like I use, I sometimes use a sleep mask. When I, when I take a nap, just so to block out the sunlight, I especially use one to block out the light when I have migraines. I'm going to use this now instead of a sleep mask, just because the coolness is so nice. It's so, so nice. And it's so soft. Look how squishy it is. Very squishy. So there you guys go. Down from 30 bucks to $19.90. Hey, Dad, look at me. But it is time to do our giveaway. It is time to do our giveaway. We're going to end the stream right after this. So let's switch over and see who the winner of... The Anchor Nebula Astro Mini is going to be. Big shout out to Anchor. Here we go, chat. So the winner of the Anchor Nebula Astro Mini, good luck to everybody, is going to be. I'm call, I'm going to call Darren B. If it is Darren B, don't say rigged. That's just my guess today. Who is it? Who is it? Melissa J. Melissa J, are you in the chat? You have 30 seconds to claim starting right now. Melissa J. Melissa J, are you here? You have won the Anchor Nebula Astro Mini Portable Projector. Right there. Melissa J, are you here? Are you here? Melissa, where are you? We have, we have 10 seconds left. 9, 8, 7, 6... Five, four, three, two, one, and she's out of here. F's in the chat. F's in the chat. 
We have to redraw. That's a big F in the chat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see who the redrawn winner is. Now I'm going to guess... I'm still going with Darren. I'm feeling a Darren win today. Let's go. Who's the winner? Who's the winner? Stargazer, a.k.a. Sheila B. A.k.a. Sheila B. Sheila B., are you here? Come on, Sheila. Don't tell me you, you walked away now. Congratulations to Sheila. She is here. So listen, guys, that's going to be it for me. I have some stuff I have to um, go take care of. Uh, congrats to Sheila. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. But that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1230. Uh, possibly tonight. It just depends. But you guys have a great rest of your day. And if for some reason I don't see you guys, Merry Christmas. And don't forget to be weird. See you guys later.